Here I am with another example of maximum power transfer theorem in which the circuit contains dependent source. So in this circuit we have to calculate the value of load resistor RL. We have to calculate the load resistor RL for which the load resistor this resistor will receive maximum power and we have to calculate that value of maximum power. When the circuit contains a when the load resistor will receive maximum power from a network when the load resistor the value of RL is exactly equal to our Thevenin resistance and second one is the value of maximum power will be equal to VTH square divided by 4RTH. So to calculate maximum power we have to know at least two quantity first one is Thevenin resistance, resistance and second one is Thevenin voltage. So at first I will calculate our Thevenin voltage. To calculate the Thevenin voltage in the circuit at first I have to remove the load resistor from the network see I have removed the load resistor between across these two terminal and the voltage across these two terminal will be known as our Thevenin voltage or open circuit voltage VOC okay now I have to calculate the voltage drop across these two terminal and if I look at this circuit some may fill is with mesh analysis but I choose to apply nodal analysis in this circuit because only two equation application of two equation will give us our required value now let's say this is our node one and this is our node two and this is our ground node which has a value of v not equal to zero volt or reference node if i apply Kashoff's current law at this node okay i will get the current all the currents are unknown so all of them will be outgoing so current current through this 3 ohm will be V1 minus 50 divided by 3. Current through this 6 ohm will be V1 divided by 6. And the current through this 2 ohm will be V1 minus V2 divided by 2 ohm. And all the currents are unknown. So the right side will be equal to 0. Now if I take the LCM of the term I will get. See the LCM of 2, 6 and 3 will be equal to 6. So I have to multiply this with 2, this with 1, 1 and this with 6, 3. This with 3. So LCM of this equation will give us equal to 2 V1 minus 100 plus V1 plus 3 V1 minus 3 V2 divided by 6 equal to 0. And if I simplify this equation, I will get 6 V1 minus 3 V2 equal to 100. This will be our equation number 1. After that, I will calculate, I will apply Kashoff's current law to this node. See, all a dependent current source is incoming and this current and this current will be outgoing as they are unknown quantity. So current through this branch will be V2 minus V1 divided by 2 and current through this 10 ohm will be unknown and it will be V2 divided by 10. Only this current is incoming which will be equal to 0.5 Vx. So I can write application of Kashoff. If I apply Kashoff current law to this node, I will get V2 minus V1 divided by 2 plus V2 by 10 equal to 0.5 Vx. Only this current is incoming and this two unknown current we assume is outgoing. Look slightly. Look carefully that the voltage across this terminal and this terminal is our node voltage V1 which is exactly equal to the voltage drop across this 6 ohm resistor. So I can write V1 is equal to Vx. So this is the equation when we apply Kashoff current law in node 2 V2 minus V1 divided by 2 plus V2 divided by 10 equal to 0 0.5 V1. If I take the LCM of this equation I will get minus 5 V1 V2 minus 5 V1 plus V2 divided by 10 equal to 0 0.5 V1 and if I multiply this 10 with this 0 0.5 I will get 5 V2 minus 5 V1 plus V2 equal to 5 V1. This gives us minus 10 V1 plus 6 V2 equal to 2. If I solve our equation 1 and 2, I will get V1 equal to 100 volt and V2 equal to 166.69 volt which will be equal to our Thevenin voltage. So this is our Thevenin voltage equal to 166.67 volt. After that, we have to calculate our Norton current but because how do we usually how do we calculate the Thevenin resistance in a circuit? RTH equal to vth divided by i n 
now see when that means I have to short the terminal across which our load resistor resistor was connected A and B terminal get shorted with a wire but when I short this resistance sorry when I short these two terminal this 10 amp ohm resistor this 0 0.5 vx dependent source get also get shorted across these two terminal that means i cannot find out our norton current by excluding the dependent source from our circuit rather we will use our test source method to find our norton to find our thevenin resistance of this circuit to calculate rth Thevenin resistance I have told you that I will apply source test test source method so let's say this was our a terminal and this was our B terminal I have applied a 1 volt test source to this node and for which a current of I is flowing in this node and that current will be our I test and our test voltage is equal to 1 volt okay now see if i apply nodal analysis in the circuit it will be convenient to for us to calculate this i this is our node 1 node 1 has a voltage of v1 this is our node 2 node 2 has a voltage of v2 and this is our ground node so it is it has a voltage of v not equal to 0 from here we how do we calculate our thevenin resistance in the circuit we apply thevenin resistance equal to Thevenin resistance equal to V test divided by I test here V test equal to 1 volt and I test is equal to small i or the current that is flowing due to this source now apply cash of current law to node 1 see there is no current source so all the current will be outgoing the current through this will be V1 divided by 6 3 the current through this will be V1 divided by 6 and the current through this will be v1 divided v1 minus v2 divided by 2 here see v1 is the node voltage between this terminal and this terminal which is exactly equal to our vx so i can replace v1 with vx now if i take the lcm and complete our necessary calculation i will get vx equal to 0 0.5 volt after that i will apply kashoff current law to to this node okay if i apply kashoff current law to this node i will see that this current will be outgoing unknown current so this is incoming because the this is a current source and this is also outgoing and this is also incoming so incoming current will be incoming current will be the current so current due to this dependent source and due to this test source so i can write i plus 0 0.5 vx will be equal to v2 minus vx divided by here v2 equal to 1 volt look v2 is the voltage drop across this terminal and this terminal and between this terminal and this terminal a voltage source of 1 volt is connected so i can write 1 minus v1 sorry 1 minus vx divided by 2 plus 1 by 10 equal to i plus 0 0.5 vx here vx has a value of 0 0.5 and if I complete our necessary my necessary calculation I will get our I or test current I test equal to 0 0.1 ampere now I know the value of VTH equal to 1 volt and sorry V test equal to 1 volt and I test equal to 0 0.01 which implies that our Thevenin resistance will be equal to 1 equal to 10 ohm to if the source want to receive maximum power if the load resistor wants to receive maximum rl has to be equal to rth and if i want to calculate maximum power i have to apply this this formula vth square divided by 4 rth equal to 1 previously i have calculated vth equal to 166.67 so i have to square it divided by 4 into rth here rth equal to 10 ohm which finally give us a value of 694.5 watt this will be our maximum power that will be received by our load